Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're having an amazing day today. And if you're new, my name is Marvise and I'm super excited to have you here on my channel. As you saw today, I'm going to be sharing with you my current makeup routine. This is a routine that I have been doing and kind of just modifying in order to be able to wear a mask without getting a lot of smudging and a lot of transfer into my mask. So as you know, obviously right now it's times that it's a little bit different. However, I have to be honest, my routine has not changed that much because I have oily skin. So this is a routine that is going to be good um, if you have oily skin or like very oily skin. Um, also, if you just want a makeup that is very long wearing and that um, it doesn't as much or transfer as easily. So if that's what you want to learn today, then let's get started. All right, friends, the way that we're going to do this video is that obviously I already, you know, have all the makeup on my face. I have already recorded the clips of me applying all of the products. So the, I'm going to just walk you through every single one of the steps. I'm going to share with you the little tips and tricks of things that I do and the reason why I do them. Obviously to be able to get a um, long wearing makeup. Um, but before we even get started, I just want to show you kind of like an idea of how this makeup does not transfer very, very easily. And I'm going to just kind of just put this clean paper towel probably should have shown you a little bit closer but it's just clean and you see I'm just playing around with my face trying to show you if there's any transfer or not so here is a close-up of the paper towel as you see there's basically no transfer into the paper towel and I have already been wearing my makeup for a little bit um so this is something that just shows you that it's great. I actually also put on a mask and um, I'm going to show you a clip of how that worked. I really didn't see much transfer. So anyways, let's just get started throughout like the process of how I did my makeup. And again, I will just be sharing the clips while I talk with you. So the first thing that I feel like is really, really important um, before you start your routine, of course, is moisturizing and prepping your face. So um, if you're going to be out during the day, consider maybe applying a sunscreen and then obviously in a moisturizer and i guess the first makeup step for me will be a primer so this is a foundation primer the one that i use today is by fenty beauty you can just use whatever use whatever one you have at home um there are a lot of affordable ones i think nyx is one of my favorite like affordable brands that has a lot of really good primers out there so you can always look for that and also if you have any questions on any other recommendations uh you can always ask me in the comments down below and i'll be more than happy to give you other recommendations um, i'm using this today but reality what's most important about a primer if you want a uh, long lasting foundation, it's something that is going to help your foundation stick a little bit better, you know, and stay in, your, in place a little bit better. Um, so obviously that would qualify like a gripping primer, a smoothing primers are good as well. I think silicone primers might not really do too much uh, when it comes to like long lasting, um, but in general just a good primer will definitely help. So that's the first step that I did today. And then my second step today was using um, a little bit of concealer. The one that I used was by Tarte. It is my favorite because it's the most long wearing one that I have. And also I love the color match that I get with this one. Um, so the the reason why I did this first is because I have, I have very like dark under eyes and I like to leave my concealer on a little bit so it can kind of set and give me more um, coverage before I go ahead and just blend it out. So I decided to apply this first before the foundation to leave it on for a little bit while I apply and blend the foundation. I applied a color that is very similar to my skin tone. You could also color correct. I do that sometimes, but really not that often. But if you wanna know another good option from the drugstore, a little bit more affordable option, the Maybelline H Rewind Concealer is very, very good. I think it has really amazing coverage and also is very long lasting, especially if you set this concealer. So my next step was foundation and this is a very very important um, step. I feel like first of all you need to forget about glowy or like tinted moisturizer, glowy foundations and products like that. Yes they do look amazing but they're not as long lasting. They're going to be more prone to transfer. So again any like BB cream, CC cream, glowy um, 
foundations or like just more natural finish foundations for the most part and not going to be very long lasting so i recommend something that is a little bit more matte and if you do not have anything like that and you still prefer to use a tinted moisturizer just take into account that even though if you follow all the steps that i'm showing you today you're still going to end up with maybe a little bit more transfer than what i like that I will, what I will get in my case. But anyways, the one that I applied today is my long time favorite Sea Lauder Double Wear. This is a foundation that I feel like it lasts all day for me. I have oily skin. So even before we had to wear a mask, this is the one that I would apply if I want my foundation to last throughout the day without like transferring, smudging, or just looking weird at the end of the day. However, there are some really good options from the drugstore as well. I think a very similar one is the Revlon Color Stay. And this one actually has two different versions. So you have one that is for normal to oily skin and there's another one that is for like drier um, skin types. So this is one that has a really good finish, really good coverage as well, that is affordable and that you have a different option for dry skin people so that way um, maybe you can have something that is not going to be as drying and as kind of like just, I don't know, uh, too, too much for your skin. And then a last option that I feel like is really good for all the skin types that also lasts very long time and lasts very good. I think that it's even better for like normal to dry skin types, oily, you still might need to like blood maybe if you're very very oily um like i used to be during the summer or how i am during the summer but this is the uh, l'oreal infallible 24 hour fresh wear this one i actually reviewed on my channel so i will leave you a little card over here in case you want to check out that video and see how this one performs but again to me i think the revlon is a little bit better and longer lasting and has more coverage than the fresh wear um, but they're both pretty good options. So now that I give you options, let's just talk about how you should apply your foundation so it can last a little bit longer. Um, there are a couple of things. So first, I think that it's really good if you can just apply the foundation with your fingers. That's just gonna help the foundation kind of melt better into your skin and kind of just set a little bit easier, I feel like. And then another thing is, if you like to apply foundation with brush, yes, you can go ahead and do that, but I think a sponge is a little bit better because with the sponge, it's going to grab any excess of foundation from the skin and that way you're not going to have that excess foundation that can transfer into your um, mask or a paper towel or whatever. So even if you use a brush, I would say just apply, um, kind of just go with a wet sponge at the end and just kind of remove the excess of foundation. And then what we're going to do after that is just let it set for a little bit before you even apply powder. Um, that way it's going to, again, help with longevity and just set a little bit better on the skin. Now the next step that I did today that I think is amazing, especially if you have normal combo or oily skin, is applying a um, setting spray. Better if it is like a long lasting setting spray. My favorite is by Urban Decay. The, um, all nighter, but I don't have it right now. So what I'm using is the Milani Make It Last. They say that it's a dupe. I'm not really sure it is, but I think it is actually very, very good and is even more affordable than Urban Decay. So I applied this all over my face after I applied the foundation and also blended out the concealer because I feel like this is going to, again, just help with longevity and with um, the foundation being a little bit more like um, transfer and smudge proof and of course I went a little bit with the concealer again applied a little bit more and just blend it out under the eyes just so you know we can have the face kind of done already so the next step that I um, did was my eyes of course this is something that you don't have to do but I did wanted to do it I wanted to mention this palette which by the way I have done like a review and um, kind of a tutorial with this palette before so I'm not gonna go over the tutorial but I will be showing you what I did with it. So I'm gonna leave the card over here in case that you wanna check out that video. Um, so this is the Garden Variety Palette by ColourPop. It is a very affordable palette that has like a really nice um, variation of colors. I feel like you can go all kinds of way with this um, palette. You can go with like more of like a matte look. Um, you can use like the brown colors and you can also go with um, more of like the peachy colors. It also has some pinky purple colors that I've done a tutorial before on that and you can also go a little bit more golden like I did today. We have like a really gorgeous green tone as well that I think is just amazing. So I think this is a pretty good palette and a lot of times when I'm doing my makeup these days I feel like since what people are going to see the most is the eyes, I really enjoy just doing you know some kind of um, 
eyeshadow. You don't have to do a bunch of stuff like I did, honestly. You can just go with like one color, blend it all over your lids and just, you know, that will be like a one and done kind of eyeshadow look and I have been loving those too so when the, I don't have enough time to like do a full on eyeshadow uh, kind of thing like I did today I'll go in with one color I think really good ones are like this one this purpley one this pinky one of course you can always go with gold you can always go with like a more matte color all over the lid and you know you can just be done so just throwing out some ideas there while I showed you the tutorial so after I did my eyes now it was time to set the foundation I waited to set the foundation after because I knew that I could get a little bit of kickback from the eyeshadow to be honest if you're gonna use a little eyeshadow you should probably do it before your foundation that way if you get any fallout like you can just clean it up before applying foundation um, and then you know start with all the steps that I showed you I did it that way today because it's kind of the way that I normally do it anyways and if I get full out I'll just do what I did today I'll go with a little bit of concealer again just um, in the area where I got full out and blend it out with the um, sponge and that way I can just clean it up and be done and I don't, I don't know I just feel like it just looks better when I do my eyes after my foundation and that's how I do it um so then after that I went with a uh, powder and this is something that it is extremely extremely important if you don't want your foundation to transfer especially if you're going to use a foundation that is more moisturizing if you're going to use cc cream bb cream tinted moisturizer anything like that definitely needs to be set and that way it's going to transfer a lot less so the way that I apply this um, today was with the brush. You can also apply it with a sponge. I do that sometimes um, You might end up using a little bit more product, but you also are going to get it very well So I first apply this kind of a little bit more lightly under my eyes because they're a little bit drier but All over my face and especially in the areas where I'm I'm gonna have the mask I applied a little bit more of this and what I did was I applied it with a very big brush um, but applying it kind of just in like dabbing motions and making sure that I'm getting that powder into the skin and kind of making sure that it seals the foundation as well as possible. And I did record a quick clip just showing you kind of like what the foundation looks or also how um, it transfers without being set and then after you set it honestly this foundation is pretty nice so i don't think you will see any transfer kind of basically no transfer even without the powder but with the powder especially if you have oily skin it's going to last longer and it's going to transfer less because once those oils start to come through sometimes i can see a little bit of transfer so if i set my foundation well then i'm not going to see a lot of that um, i do have another option of powder for you and it's the maybelline fit me so this is a cheaper powder that also works very very well so you can always go to that essence also has a few that are even cheaper and they're also very well very good um so after that what i did was just go um finish the eyes so i applied my um i did my brows real quick which i'm not going to show you today i do have full-on like makeup tutorials that i can link right over here for you guys to like see how i do everything um and then i set my brows with the brow gel i did mascara which for the first time used the maybelline sky high mascara uh really loving it how it looks and then after that i'm going in with products for my face um i think this is another thing that you have to be mindful try to pick products that are a little bit more long lasting that are going to transfer a little bit less or maybe just don't apply any like blush or um, bronzer if you feel that it's going to bother you if they transfer a little bit i apply them but i did it very very lightly with a brush so um i applied the balm instant insane long wearing powder blush these are super good they're not very expensive and they have sales all the time so i have purchased them at 50 percent off and i went with the take home the bronze um, bronzer and this one also I applied it very very lightly I did go a little bit more on my forehead that way you can just hide it a little bit better and then finally I went with the Ofra Rodeo Drive highlighter I feel like uh, with a mask that's one area that it's definitely going to show even if you have the mask on so I love doing a little bit of highlighter just to call a little more attention to the eyes or the eye area kind of thing I 
And then of course, final step will be the lips. Like I mentioned at the beginning, you can always just go with a balm and that, you know, that'll be good. But if I know that I'm going to be, let's say going out for drinks and I'm gonna take off my mask for a while, I actually like to have like a long wearing lipstick or something like that. The one that I applied today is by Ofra and this is one of their um, long lasting liquid lipstick. This one is in the color Pasadena, which by the way, I will, um, I'll put all the names of the products that I use today down below. And if you have any questions again, just let me know in the comments. But this is long wearing, long lasting. It does feel really good in the lips, but it, I realized that it does transfer a little, little bit at the beginning. I think even now it just transfers very, very lightly. In my case, it doesn't bother me, but if you want to know a product that it won't transfer at all, it is um, the Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suits. These are super affordable lipsticks, less than five bucks, and they won't budge, they won't transfer at all. They are a little bit more drying than the Ofra ones, which is why I rather wear the Ofra um, sometimes if I'm gonna be out for a long time. But these are an amazing option. I actually have a video too of this product, so I'm gonna link it over here. They're super old, older videos, so maybe older, different quality all right friends and that was the end of the video so i uh, wanted to walk you through everything and give you tips and tricks i hope you liked it i know it made the video a little bit longer but i just really wanted to explain you kind of like what are the things that you need to do i know that there are a lot of tutorials out there um on how like how to do your makeup if you're wearing a mask so i wanted to do something where i can give you a lot of different options and things that you could do and kind of just make it a little bit different so i hope you enjoyed it and if you did as usual please don't forget to give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you want to keep watching more videos like this like I mentioned before I do have other like more explanatory makeup tutorials and um, reviews and things like that so don't forget to just check out my channel if you want to spend some more time with me thank you so much for being here don't forget to subscribe also if you want to keep watching more videos I am posting once a week and don't forget to hit the little bell button so you can be notified whenever I post a new video. Anyways, that is all. Love you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.